It's Christian Pulisic. Uh, yep. Everybody in America wants to know, where is this kid moving next? Almost forgetting that he's at a pretty good club now in Borussia Dortmund. The latest link is Chelsea. Yep. When you saw Pulisic, Chelsea, what was your first reaction? No, don't do it. Mm, why? But because it's the wrong club for him. It, 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 it's just going to go into a, a, a hopper of, of decent footballers who eventually go out on loan. Is he going to get into the team on this present form? No, he's not. He's still developing as a young, young player. Now, when you factor in Seb, that he's got two years left on his contract, yeah. we know now in world football, you've got to negotiate with the player when he's got two years to run. Look, look at Aaron Ramsey at Arsenal. He had two years to run. They didn't engage him, and he was going to be going for free. So that's where this is coming from. This is the root of this. It's the agent putting his toe in the water and, and just picking, picking clubs. If you, if you were, were to ask me a club that he should go to... My next question. Liverpool. Why? He's I, not going to get into that team I either. Just, I, I just think that under Klopp, I, I don't think he's, got, wait, I don't you, think he's got a chance to You don't think he gets into the team, into the no, 11? Not yet, no, right. not yet. But, but you still think it's but a good But with Klopp, Klopp understands, he understands the Bundesliga, he understands what, what it takes to... To, to mould the player. What it and he takes, knows Pulisic well. He knows him very, very well. If you, let's look at Shakiri. Shakiri was a, a bit of a eyebrow raiser. You know, why is he signed Shakiri? Because Shakiri can be a little bit in and out. You know, he's not the most consistent of footballers. He's obviously sat him down and said, listen, mate, if you want to play in this team, you've got to do A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on and so, so forth, right? And, he's, and he is. Everybody's saying, no, maybe Shakiri should be coming into the line. Now, well, if Pulisic was go, would go to Liverpool, the nurturing and the way that Klopp puts his arm around players, I think it would be a fabulous move for him. From the U.S. perspective, this is a guy who everybody wants to see become the number 10 on this team. Right. Is he ever going to develop into that player if he always has these kind of secondary wide roles like he has at Dortmund and what you're suggesting he would have at a place like Liverpool? Well, what, what you've got to do, you've got to, when you, when you work with a player, when you, when you, you've got to see what sort of tools he's got. Has he got the ability out wide to track back? You know, to play, to go past defenders, to play a one-two combination play. Maybe he has. But playing in that 10 role, then, now the 10 role can be a, a luxury role. But nowadays in modern football, you've also got your defensive duties. So the coach has got to work with him. Now then, can he play in the 10 role? I've got no doubt that he can play in the 10 role. But what I would like to see... And, and it's purely and simply because of this contractual situation with the two years to run. Contracts up in 2020. Yeah, yeah. I would I, immediately I would say stay at Dortmund, learn your trade, look at the, the you know Marco Royce, look at all the great players that he's playing with, and learn from those guys. Listen to them in the dressing room. Listen to what the coach is saying. Implement on the field what you're learning on the training ground. Uh, but it looks as though he's going to be getting a move. Personally, I would steer away from Chelsea unless he's got super confidence in his own ability. I wouldn't go to Chelsea.